What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So I'm gonna check out WrestleMania's uh, latest video. He needs to be stopped, and he has uh, the thumbnail of Tony Khan in clown makeup. I'm sure he's gonna be talking about Tony Khan's recent rant that he had on Twitter, but this is not his only rant he's had on Twitter. He's had a few of them last year alone, and he does need to chill out. As an owner of a popular, a very big wrestling company, arguably the second largest wrestling company in the world, you know, someone that's around millions and billions of dollars on a day-to-day -day basis, you own multiple sports franchises, like, and I, I believe he owns multiple uh, sports franchises, not just the Jaguars. I think he owns some other stuff, another team overseas. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But you own different entities and different brands. You should not be operating like that as a GM, as a owner, not GM, but as an owner of a company, you shouldn't operate like that because your employees and people that, you know, are under you ultimately look up to you as for leadership. And if they see you tweeting and saying some wild stuff on Twitter to trolls or what, whoever responds to you, then it makes sense for them to do the same thing if they feel some type of way about someone. Because guess what? Our boss does it. So we're going to see what uh, WrestleMania has to say. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are shown on the channel. Let's get right into this one, man. Needs to be stopped. No, we're not talking about that. Hold on. A Tony Khan needs to be stopped. No, we're not talking about the AEW president's incredible obsession with signing talent. That's a video for another day. In this case, we're referring to Khan's latest social media meltdown, yeah. a situation that has some wrestling fans thinking Khan needs to step away from social media. Of it course. also has some fans laughing at how easily AEW's president seems to fly off the handle. Yeah. While critics may be wrong, accusations that Khan is thin-skinned, immature, or irritable are hard to dismiss when you actually read Khan's comments. Add in the fact that he's the company's public face and it's a situation full of potential peril. A Tony Khan is obviously proud of his product. Who wouldn't be? That's their baby at the end of the day. While AEW has stumbled over the last year or so, there are still plenty of good things going for the company. Yeah. However, Khan seems to be like a helicopter parent who can't separate himself from his pride and joy, inadvertently embarrassing himself and the product. So join us now on why he needs to be stopped. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleAmia.com. Let's see what WrestleAmia has to say. Firstly, let's look at his tirade. In case you missed it, Tony Khan took offense when fans questioned the decision to book FTW champion Hook against AEW world champion Samoa Joe. Which is a fair criticism to have considering, yes, Hook is 28-1, and one, but Hook is, hadn't really beat anybody of substantial weight compared to Samoa Joe and who he is and his status in the company. I'm just being honest. Beating people on dark it ain't the same as beating people with credible names and credible records on a week-to-week -week basis you know what i'm saying it just doesn't make sense that booking doesn't make sense i like hook but putting him in this championship match so soon i just personally don't agree with it it shouldn't it should be somebody else but that's just my personal opinion on it now maybe for some hook doesn't deserve the match at least compared to the bigger names in aew however khan defended the decision noting hook's aew record yeah a double standard hook 28 and 1 career record on winning streak calls out the champ a logical challenge sparks online outrage jinder has literally lost every single match he's in for the past year immediately gets title shot where's the rage a wrestling inks raj giri noted that there is history between seth rollins and jinder these guys do have history seth rollins defeated jinder mahal in the tournament finals to become the first nxt champion i didn't even really realize that but I do agree with Tony Khan on that part. I there there's people there, there's people that are outraged. There's, I don't. It's not too. It's become a meme now. But when it was initially, they were setting that up. Nobody's really. Well, I won't say nobody, but a lot of people weren't just clamoring to see a Seth Rollins versus Jinder Mahal for the championship match, like a championship op opportunity. No one was just clamoring for it. It's very confusing. This match is happening, but. Him drawing attention to it 
only made gender stock go up. So you actually, in in essence, help help the the idea of that match happening being a little bit more viable because more eyes most likely are going to be seen on that potential uh, for that match. Well, that might have been enough, but Khan seems to lose it when the AUSA Network took a jab at Tony's past practice of pointing out how highly rated AEW's matches are rated at cagematch.net. As USA Network tweeted, uh -huh. what was the cage match rating? This seemed to set Khan off, and he didn't hold back, yeah. attacking the WWE's decision to give Jinder Mahal a World Heavyweight Championship match against Seth Rollins. Khan tweeted, a moral victory for USA is one win more than their world title challenger Jinder Mahal has in the past 364 days, because it's literally been a full year since he won a match. You really put AEW in our place getting Jinder Mahal in a big match on your TV show. Do it more often. And here's the thing, you come off more like a mark than a business owner, because you're literally keeping up with the stats of Jinder Mahal, which is kind of easy because you don't really see him, he doesn't win matches, I get it. But the fact that it comes off like you are actively watching what these guys are doing instead of focusing on what's best for your company. It's a problem. You come off like a mark, an online smart mark. That's what he comes off as. And he's the owner of the damn company. That's a problem. Now, while there may be some merit to the idea that Jinder really doesn't deserve a title oh, for match, sure. as let's be fair, Jinder literally does have one win over in the last year at the New Year's Evil 2023 NXT show against Julius Creed, but Khan's comments rubbed many people the wrong way. For some readers, it was a needless attack on wrestler Jinder Mahal. For others, it was incredibly immature. Even if Khan's initial comment was warranted, his decision to wage an unrelenting campaign against anyone and everyone who disagreed with him seemed kind of unnecessary. Ultimately, it served no other purpose than to give his critics ammunition that yeah. he's possibly thin-skinned and or overstressed running AEW. That could be a but thing. One thing just led to another. As often happens with social media comments, Khan's remarks led to a huge amount of responses, and before long it seemed as if everyone was weighing in on Khan's tweets. Even worse, Khan seemed to respond to everyone, aggravating yep. the situation. Tony's comments resulted in numerous replies from fans. But oh, wow. Uh, shout out to Suplex, man. In the situation, a, uh, another Tony's comment. Another wrestling, uh, wrestling uh, content creator. Uh, let's see what he said. And he's a, a fan of AEW as well. You're not wrong, but every time you get online and publicly display how much WWE bothers you as the owner of its rival company, you make AEW look inferior by comparison. Every single time. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they do it because they know you'll react to it. He's making a fair point there. Every time he... This is not the first time he's done this. He's done this so many times. Some, and sometimes it's not even with someone from an official Twitter account. It's a troll. And he bites the bait. I'm like, bro, you don't... Why are you responding? It doesn't matter. You... I get it. So we're all humans and sometimes people say some messed up stuff but you are the owner of a billion dollar company multiple entities who gives a fuck what random Jim says at 3 in the morning about your product who cares who cares you shouldn't care of all people cause random Jim is would be honored to work for you would be would love to make the money you're making. Would love to be in your position. But he's right now tweeting you at 3 a.m. on his mom's couch or his best friend's couch. Like, stop. Don't you you don't have to respond. Show that your your company is 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 superior. Even if it it's not by stats, act like your company is the best wrestling company in the world. Because when you do this, you come off like second second best at best. Like, second rate, if anything. Like it's just it's just bad, man. Comments resulted in numerous replies from fans, but also comments and criticisms from wrestlers yep. and wrestling personalities, <laughs> including Rhea Ripley, Dax Harwood, wow. Aubrey Dudley, Eric Bischoff. Rhea Ripley liked that tweet. <laughs> Lee, Dax Harwood, Bob Hey, Tony Khan, is this true or is, or is it a bot? Tony forgets he literally gave Abaddon a title shot after being off AEW TV for over a year. The exact situation as gender. Bray Dudley, Eric Bischoff, and the Wrestling Observer Newsletter's Dave Meltzer. While it's natural for people to reply to someone's comments on social media, subsequent replies usually end up adding fuel to the proverbial fire. 
which is why the term flame war was created to describe threads that went from a simple comment into the digital version of World War 3. Some of the comments were just downright brutal in the tweet. Ex-user Jesse said, You'll never be good enough to compare yourself to Jinder Mahal, Tony. Another Jason <laughs> at 23 Lake said, Jinder Mahal outdraws your whole roster. And here's the thing. He, he has caused the Jinder Mahal trend to skyrocket because of his tweet, bro. Duh. Another diverted it to the main problem in AEW. As the boulder wrote, focus on your own show, I beg. Posting a picture of Vansign of booked the women's division better. Yet Tony <laughs> Khan wasn't holding back. Even when Eric Bischoff replied with a tweet with a clown emoji, Tony Khan hit back with a picture of, get out of my sight you miserable has-been. This is even after Tony had booked Eric Bischoff to appear on his own show. It's even been reported that AEW wrestlers themselves have been embarrassed by Tony Khan's uh... comments. Brian Alvarez of the Wrestling Observer Radio revealed, Yeah, I got a lot of tweets. Yes, it was the exact same thing as last time. Got a lot of tweets from people in AEW. They, they were like, why is he doing this on Twitter? This is embarrassing. That's what they said. They said it last time, too. I'm sure he's aware of it. Yeah. But, you know, he sees this as, look at all the engagement I get for these tweets, and then I can tweet out some matches and some promotion for no. Wednesday, and, you know, to help boost the rating. So, does Tony Khan need to back off? No. Eric Bischoff has suggested that Tony Khan needs to distance himself from AEW in terms of serving it as its spokesperson. Based on what we've Possibly. seen of Khan at AEW's post-show media scrums, it may not be a bad idea. Yeah. Bischoff's Strictly Business podcast co-host John Alba, who is an Emmy award-winning journalist, recently pointed out how Khan blundered his way through the World's End post-show media scrum oh, to a... He looks like a complete fool right here. <laughs> it looks like a goof, bro. ...dress Nick Hausman's insinuations that Chris Jericho had skeletons in his closet. As far as Alba was concerned, Khan should have addressed the issue at the beginning of the scrum with a statement and moved forward. Yeah. Instead, Khan repeatedly addressed the issue. Everyone knows someone who is thin-skinned and is easily offended. Sometimes it makes for some laughs, but it can also lead to trouble as the person in question wears out their welcome. Mm -hmm. However, when a public figure is thin-skinned, the consequences are magnified. Whether it's a politician, musician, athlete, or business owner flying off the handle on social media, it can backfire in a huge way. While an individual supporters might enjoy seeing them insult someone they feel deserves it, it generally makes for bad optics, especially when the individual in question doesn't stop. Sometimes an individual's broadsides can even turn off supporters, turning them into opponents. Tony Khan should have known better. On one hand, he seems to understand the importance of social media. He uses it to update fans on AEW news, including signings, upcoming shows, and company successes. However, it's problematic when he defends the company yeah. on social media. This is definitely not the first time that Tony has taken to social media to air out his grievances. Uh -huh. In October of last year, Tony Khan tweeted, Not that I should be surprised, but the same WWE avatar accounts that spam me every day, no matter what I say or what it's about, now turning the wrath to my mom recovering from a near-death experience is why I straight hate these people to the bottom of my heart with all my soul. Whilst the illnesses involving Tony Khan's mother should never be used as ammunition against Tony Khan himself, remember that. trolls will always be trolls. And they'll yes, and that's the thing, like, Tony, bro, it don't matter what they think. They know they can do this to you. Stop. Stop it. Just focus on your company and your brand. Just do that. You have billions <laughs> to your name. These trolls barely got fucking $20 in their bank account sometimes. They're trolls. They have nothing else better to do. You really shouldn't even be on social media that much only to promote the shows. Because you should be doing so much. You shouldn't have no time to really be on Twitter. I don't even know how you even have time to be on Twitter like that. Focus on your brands. Focus on making the best shows possible stop worrying about the twitter trolls because they're not the ones watching watching your show they're just there to piss you off always be around tony khan is just fueling them and finally why social media isn't the right platform khan is AEW president but social media isn't the place for him to take a stand no. First, there's only so much that can be said on social media second it's too easy to get mired in a back and forth with people who disagree with you 
Third, Tony Khan seems like the kind of person who doesn't always take time to think over his social media posts, letting anger get the better of him. For some individuals, it's better to address concerns with the media. Sometimes a statement can be issued to address a concern or make an important announcement. Interviews can also give someone a chance to discuss matters, controversial or not, in a closed environment. Anyone with a modicum of media savviness knows who they can count on for a friendly interview and who might ask hard questions. They will also know how to let an interviewer know what questions are on and off the table. As mentioned, Tony Khan may not be the right person to address AEW matters, especially controversial ones. Yeah. For whatever reason, Khan doesn't seem capable of handling live discussions or social media. He should consider a spokesperson for the company so he can focus on running the business, yes. the most important aspect of being a boss. Yes. Khan can continue making announcements on social media, but he shouldn't be jumping into the proverbial weeds and defending AEW against online trolls Max. or just fair online criticism. Do you think Tony Khan has a problem using social media? Do you think he needs to be stopped? Let us know in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time with some more. Yeah, man. He needs to go ahead and just step away. Have someone else. You can have someone else promote the socials, like the matches and what's coming up and all that. He needs to step away. No more outbursts for him. Because all you're doing is just proving everyone's point that you, you are pressed about WWE, you are worried about what they do and the product they put out. And it makes it seem as if you don't feel like your product's the best. Because WWE don't ever really tweet AEW. They don't say nothing about them for the most part. They don't. They have in little situations and in promos here and there, but they rarely do that shit, bro. They don't care. They they care, but they don't show that they care. That's the difference. They may care behind the scenes. They may have people watching behind the scenes and want to make sure they put on the best show possible to beat AEW or to keep beating them. They've been beating them, but to keep doing it. They may care behind the scenes, but you'll never see Triple H tweet some shit like that. You'll never see Stephanie. You'll never see any of the higher ups tweeting anything related to AEW and even trying to talk down on them. Because there's no point. Because they know they're the better product. So Tony should have that mindset. I know I'm the better product. I shouldn't be focusing or saying anything related to them. Because I know I have the best wrestling in the world. If you truly believe that. And Tony does believe that. Show that. Because right now. You responding to the trolls. And even the networks trolling you. Because they know they can get you. You just prove to everyone. That no you're not the superior wrestling brand. You're not. Especially when their boss is doing that. It's not a good look. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think Tony Khan should step away from all social media presence? Like all so social media related stuff. All media scrum related stuff. And have a spokesperson that handles the Twitter. Or handles the social media aspects. Or do y'all feel like it's fine what Tony Khan is doing. He should keep doing it. It's good for for uh, AEW and the brand. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 150K. And I'm still young. Speed the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.